All right. Uh, so we've completed the Zuiderze works, and um, you know this is all going to be useful, but not now. Uh, not now. First, we must take symbol of the resistance and a bunch of other political things because they are going to be extremely important. Crackdown on pacifism. Yeah, come on. Continue the Zuiders that works. Um, war propaganda against German Reich. That could be useful. However, we do have like a lot of war support already. And the Polish are falling, finally, after so long, but they've put up a one hell of a fight. That's a, this has bought us a lot of time to fortify ourselves. Uh, they have actually taken down almost 100,000 Germans, which is quite impressive. Uh, however, yeah, the Italian front, not looking nearly as good. Because they've reached the Rone off route in all Panzer divisions. Shit. Anti tank is required. At least we're up to date with the land doctrines. That is good. However, we are gonna need those anti tank guns. Like, seriously. Seriously. Need those anti tank guns. I just hope that our inundation lines can slow down the Germans enough. That's all I'm hoping for at this point. That we can be one big fortress. Poland has capitulated. That's the end of that. Uh, now there's gonna be Polish uh, government in exile though. I wonder how those mechanics are going to happen. And okay, Belgium joined the Allies and the German Reich has declared war on the Belgium. That is potentially bad. You know, do we need this place? I've just realized that I put forts here, but do we need it? No. We could have just... We could have been a lot smarter about this, but whatever. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stay neutral as long as possible, obviously. Now the Germans are gonna have a relatively hard time breaking through Belgium. Wow, Belgium is attacking. Okay. Apparently Belgium is gonna go on the offensive. Glorious fucking Belgium. I'm also building mine layers. So yeah, hopefully that's gonna be useful. Naval invasion support. Escort naval invasions and support them with shore bombard. That's amazing. Not for us. Not yet. But yeah, I am building uh, ships that are for mine laying because that is going to be quite useful, I think. Keep shipping those bloody divisions to the motherland now. Um, okay, whatever. I am going to definitely avoid the Tyrrhenian Sea. Because there's this new awesome feature where you can avoid troublesome shipping lanes. Now, it would be safer for us to just go all the way around. However, for now, while we are not at war, I'm going to... Man, we are missing artillery. So much of it. Yeah, the Panzer Divisions are here. They could attack us at any moment now, and that's quite scary, if I'm gonna be honest. Because I'm fairly certain that we should not be able to hold against that, especially as we know we have no fucking anti-tank guns. This is really, really scary. Oh, wow. Declare war on Denmark. Denmark has joined the Allies. They're declaring war on everyone but us. Which is quite good, I guess. Oh, but yeah, we are definitely going to be forced into exile here. It's almost 100% certain. I don't see us surviving this because the Axis forces are coming through uh, southern France. So eventually, while... Belgium itself is holding, they're gonna come at us some from the south, and that's gonna be the end of us. Oh, well, pacifism's done already. 
So why am I continuing to do that? Apparently the war on pacifism can be continued even when the pacifism is done. Okay. Very good. Uh, we still cannot replace the defeatist government because we're not at war. Ooh. This could be useful. However, we are going to need those factories as much as possible. So get the factories. What? <laughs> sure. Oh, okay. Uh, thanks, I guess, France. You don't seem to be... You don't seem to be able to do anything about it, though. Oh, God. The Germans pushing through Italy was just terrible. The Danish are dead. Yeah, I myself am thinking that we're gonna get... That we're gonna get sent over to, like, Curaçao or something very soon. Wait, what? The United Kingdom declared war on Yugoslavia? I don't think that that was a good idea. Wait, what? Apparently... <sighs> Whatever, fine. Self-government for Asia, what's that gonna do? India becomes a puppet of the United Kingdom, or at least Burma release the Republic of Sri Lanka. The Maldives. What about... Um... Oh, wow. Uh, what about... Hong Kong? What's gonna happen to that? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, number one, why the hell... Why the hell is Sheng Shi... Wait, no, there are two communist China... No, hold on, that's the same one. So why can I not click? I don't understand. So anyway, apparently he owns Hong Kong. He's also with the Japanese. How the hell did Communist China get Shang Shi- Oh, right. Right, 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 right. Shang Shi Tsai went with the Communist path over here. Which made him... Take over Mao? And then... Because of that... Since Mao was in the co-prosperity sphere, you have Shang in the co-prosperity sphere as the communist China focus tree. Uh, <laughs> yes. Ain't that amazing. Oh. The Yugoslavian Confederation has declared war on Yugoslavia. Okay, so that gives... That gives the Allies a big foothold on the continent, depending on how many troops you've got, and how fast they can reinforce. However, it could potentially be too bad because, you know, there's already this going on, so I sincerely doubt that they are going to have enough to defend Yugoslavia too. So yeah, at least the Allies have full control over Africa, which is definitely a plus. And I sure bloody hope that when the Germans declare on me, and notice I said when, not if, it's pretty much a when at this point. Um, do we have... oh yes. This is going to give us piercing, and that's important. That's very important. So get those anti-air guns issued to the troops ASAP, pretty much. Because... The extra piercing will be welcome. It will be very welcome. Okay. Um, I mean, we're going to be mostly infantry. At the same time, though, the assault thing is a lot better. I'm going to save up for that war economy. Or, actually, army defense expert. 
We haven't deployed a new Supreme Commander as yet, though. Enemy air support minus 5%. Yeah. Improved artillery. I cannot even train my troops because I'm just so scared that the Germans will declare on me before I'm ready. The fall of Paris. There we go. So the Germans are taking over all of Europe. Effectively. I sure hope that the Allies are going to be able to salvage enough forces from here to continue the fight in some way or another. Oh, Belgium has capitulated. Oh no. Looks like the Maginot Line is surrounded now. That's going to be some serious, serious problems in the making. Now, I wonder if we can like see what's what's going on with the governments in exile at all. Because, you know, that's relatively important for the new DLC and all. Like, for example, can we see what's... Poland up to? It looks like Poland does not have a government in exile. Uh, I don't understand. Ah, well. Okay, Toad Anti-Tank. This is quite important. Let's build that. We need to build that as much as possible. We also need more bloody military factories. Get me military factories. Even though forts are necessary, we need the military factories to build guns and, uh, you know, survive. Oh, right. France ain't gonna be trading with us anytime soon, so I guess the United States... Or, well, maybe it would be better to get the United Kingdom to give us those, so that we give them more factories and boost them up. Okay, we are done with that. Oh no, uh, we still have one more. All right. One more naval doctrine, and then we can research other stuff. Definitely happy about our research, though. That's something that's good. Cooperative Republic of Guyana has capitulated. What? Oh, fuck me in the anus. Fuck me. Wait, what? Where are you? What do you mean? What the fuck are you talking about? Your naval base is fucking Java. If you want to repair, repair in fucking Java, you idiot mongol. Oh my god. Pisses me off really hard. Like, if you want to repair, detach the moving to repair in Curaçao. How about you repair in Java? Your naval base. Why are you... What? Also, what damaged you? Repairing in Holland? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? What is your naval base? What's your naval base? Why is it so difficult to see? What? Why? But why are you not repairing here? That's your naval base, you idiot! G 
Jesus fucking Christ, you have to be shitting me, to be honest. You just have to be shitting me. There's no way this is... There's no way this is normal. More steel. You honestly have to be fucking shitting me. I have to tell the AI to repair at the port that's closest. What the hell? You honestly have to be shitting me. I am in total disbelief about the stupidity of this AI. Why are you not repairing at your base? Why do you feel the need to go to Holland? I... I'm in total shock. Like, I'm just in shock. How did they break this so much? It's insane, to be honest. How did they break this so much? It was so simple before. You know, when you break to repair, you repair at the base where it is assigned. At the same fucking time, I don't think the assignment mechanic exists anymore? I don't think ships can really be assigned to a base. Really. It seems like that's not how it works anymore. Which is something, let me tell you, that I seriously dislike. So that's gonna do that, right, so... Just leave you here and repair. Also, what happened that made you want to... Oh, I guess just being out at sea. Now, where are you gonna go to repair? The Malukas, okay. Oh, who... I guess that makes more sense, at least it's in the same continent. I guess you're all gonna go to the fucking Malukas to repair. Well, this is certainly we very weird. I don't understand anymore. Okay. Me still don't understand what's going on. Me still retarded. Anyway, we are the last hope on the continent. Ain't that fucking great. Um, right, so I... I think what I'll do is I'll stop. I'll stop this right now. And. Uh, Alright. Uh, now, this is actually relatively important. I'm gonna need to move some divisions to. Bloody Curacao. Or, not Curacao, sorry, Suriname. Because uh, the Venezuelans now border us here. So, yay, I guess. Yay for Venezuela. And so I'm gonna need to garrison this place from them. Actually, right. Because they're potentially quite scary. Although, like, yeah, I mean, they have 7-2, so their divisions are not bad. At the same time, though, it's like, this is nightmare territory. This is really nightmare territory, so we should be able to hold. And we've got ships, which is a plus, to say the least. Anyway, I am going to end it now, and I'm going to be joining you next time. And the Maginot Line is still trying to hold last little bits of it. Uh, Strasbourg is the last remnant of France in uh, actual metropolitan France. Oh, it's actually free France. Okay.
I see. Um, so yeah, I do want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you will be joining me again next time as we shall stare down Germany in the face and probably the entire continent because everyone else was fighting Germany is now dead. Also, I love how <laughs> the Frenchies capitulated to Italy, so now Italy owns everything and not Germany. That's that's actually relatively good. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon. Take care.